One of the reasons it looks like the people who currently run the government are about to be repudiated in a historic way next Tuesday is that they have completely opened our southern border, over which more than 5 million foreign nationals have come in and broken our laws by doing it. The situation on the border is not getting better. You'd think it would since there's an election coming up. It's getting worse. Fox's Bill Malugin knows that firsthand. He's in Eagle Pass, Texas for us tonight. He has some amazing footage. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tucker, that's right. The illegal crossings down here in the Eagle Pass area just nonstop. We had an absolutely enormous group cross illegally this morning, and we want to show you this remarkable drone footage our team shot before the sun came up. Take a look. This is our Fox News thermal capable drone showing several hundred migrants crossing illegally into Normandy, Texas. Normandy is a tiny little town on the northern outskirts of Eagle Pass, and you can see as these illegal immigrants come in, they just kind of snake in through the brush right after they come across the Rio Grande. A CBP source telling us as of this morning in just a 24 hour span in this sector, there were more than 1,700 illegal crossings. And as you can see from this video, almost all the people coming in are single adults. Had a chance to talk to a lot of them as they were walking up. They're mostly from Cuba, Colombia, Nicaragua, uh, Uruguay, and the Dominican Republic. And you see them just walking in this single file line, willing to give themselves up and surrender to Border Patrol. They're doing that because they know once they step foot in the United States under the Biden administration, policies, they're likely just going to be released into the United States rather than removed from the country. And we had a chance to talk to a lot of these migrants as they were walking up for processing, and we asked them a simple question in Spanish. Do you believe the border is open or is it closed? And everybody who talked to us laughed and smiled, and they said, abierto, abierto. It's open, it's open. No migrants ever tell us they believe that border is closed as they are crossing it illegally. And we see groups like this every single day out here in the Eagle Pass area. Just to put it in perspective for you, we had a group there in the same spot yesterday. And yesterday, in a one-hour span, we had more than 800 illegal crossings. And back out here live, a CBP source tells us, just since October 1st, just in this Del Rio sector, there have already been more than 46,000 illegal crossings. And that does not count the thousands of known gotaways. Tucker, I'll send it back to you. Greatest crime ever committed against the United States. By far, nothing ever has come close to what we're seeing now. And no one has reported on it more assiduously than you have. Bill, I, I want to show our viewers some of the reporting that you did for our new documentary, Battle for the Border, which was on Fox Nation. Um, here's a clip. I don't, if you'll stay right there, I want to put this up. Yep. The tens of thousands of illegal aliens coming across every month only make it easier for the cartels to smuggle drugs through the Big Ben sector. Smugglers love this area because it's so open, so remote, so easy to hide, and not nearly as many Border Patrol agents looking for them. Resources are already stretched thin. Customs and Border Protection and the Texas Department of Public Safety have scattered cameras through the desert to help identify illegal crossers. But the technology isn't enough. The only way to stop deadly drugs from entering this country is by hunting smugglers in person, <laughs> on the ground, in the field. So they're on the two track about it. So we're ahead of them. Abandoned drug bundles litter the desert floor. They've been ditched by smugglers who hear approaching law enforcement helicopters overhead. After hiding the drugs, smugglers blend in with immigrant groups to get away scot-free. Sergeant Morris decided that he wanted to find some drug bundles or dopers, as he likes to call them. Bill Malugin joined our team for a mission to recover lost drug bundles with Sergeant Morris. We land, get down, investigate. Lo and behold, we get two bundles weighing approximately 100 pounds of marijuana. Square shape, look like a uh, worth landing and checking out for sure. There it is. There it is right there. From the air, we could see a little square. How the hell did you see that from the air? You know, I guess uh, just doing it for a while, your eye gets trained to it, and uh, yeah, there, I haven't seen a, a perfect square rock before, so uh, that caught my attention. You could tell they spray painted it with a little black, kind of camouflage it in. So we're looking around right here. It looks like there should be another bundle right over here. When I go through TSA tomorrow, these drug dogs are gonna light me up. Come up here and... Yep, there you go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Woo. Awesome. Here we go. But perfectly intact. It's good. Good condition right here. Look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this duct tape off here. Oh, shoot. Holy smokes. What do we got? It, I mean, we've done this story so many times, but those pictures are still stunning. Bill, people who are still two years in living next to this day to day, what is their view of the border right now? 
Well, they're frustrated because they feel like it's just getting worse and worse and the numbers back that up. Remember, fiscal year 2021 broke the all-time record with 1.7 million illegal crossings. Then we just broke the record again in fiscal year 2022 with nearly 2.4 million crossings. And there has been no action, no change in policy from the administration. And those numbers don't even count for the, the known gotaways. I mean, we're pushing over 1 million known gotaways since President Biden took office, and that is what Border Patrol agents tell us they are most concerned about. It's not these families or these people willing to turn themselves in. What happens is when these big groups come across, Border Patrol agents get sucked up having to process them, and then, you know, the bad actors and the drugs are able to slip in elsewhere along the border. Tucker? And no one in Washington cares. I wish DeSantis would send another 10,000 of them to Bethesda, wake those people up. Bill Malugin, great to see you. Thanks so much. The documentary is called Battle for the Border. You can stream it right now on Fox Nation. You can get a free membership at TuckerCarlson.com. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.